This is going to be a video on the Sig Sawyer Mosquito. And for all you that own this gun, are probably very frustrated with it as I was. So we made a few modifications and this thing runs like a champ now. I'm not going to do it, but after you take this gun apart, you're going to take that screw out and that screw. And don't get them mixed up. They are different in length. Then you can take the barrel off. What I did is I took a Dremel with this sandstone first and took and chamfered the, the very feed first lip right there. Put a little more of a chamfer on it than the factory. And then I took a polishing wheel that looks like this on the Dremel and it's easier with the barrel off and just used a polishing compound and turn that chrome and it is so smooth so like I said don't get these screws mixed up put your barrel back on there and the other crucial thing I found was while I was messing with the the magazine it's loading it up giving me problems again. Anyways, I had a few in there and I would hold this down and the cartridges would stay up here even though I pulled the spring down. So what I did to fix that is I deburred sorry I couldn't see myself I deburred this lip all the way around the top edge all the way around and that made the the rounds feed better because it failure to feed stove piping and all that so anyways that is in my opinion the best fix I've seen out there and this gun was headed for the garbage can but after the fix four to five mags back to back without a flaw so let me know what you think but polish that thing as best you can and just put a little, just ease that front edge so it slides in there a lot, a lot easier. Other than that, good luck. Get a Ruger SR-22. It's a great gun.